Welcome. I was testing the Volvox Avator with the Woodcracker Feller Puncher Head and I thought it could be a good idea to make a video explaining how to set up the controls realistically uh, since it has some weird input bindings and basically you need to change your input bindings to use this with real controls but for me at least it is totally worth it I'm going to add some images on the screen of how I have my joystick set up and also the input bindings menu so you can set up yourself let's start with the standard basic controls so left stick left swings coming to the left left joystick to the right swings coming to the right pretty simple then left joystick forward move the stick away from you and then the other way move toward you now the right hand forward it lowers the main boom backward it raises the main boom and now let's talk about the tilt of the implement because this is very interesting and for that I have here another excavator so the default tilt of the implement in the excavator works like this if you move the right joystick to the right you dump the dirt for example if you have a bucket and if you move the right joystick to the left uh, you scoop the dirt with a bucket and by the way this implement this grab looks like a bucket because in real life uh, you use it to uh, pull out stamps from the ground and then you can grab it and throw it to one side for example uh, but anyway so this is the standard tilt option so right joystick right you dump the dirt for example and then uh, to the left you take the dirt for example so it goes towards you but in a filler puncher it works different in the filler puncher it works just the other way around because in this case the implement is not facing you it's facing the other way so you have to think of it like the contours of a front loader so with the right stick to the right move toward you and dump the wood and then right stick to the left moves away from you uh, putting it back up to grab another tree so just the other way around as the standard control of a, an excavator it works like a front loader in this case now let's talk a little bit about the head itself so unfortunately it works automatically so there isn't much you can do uh, I just turn it on with the B key on the keyboard and then to close the head and cut I use the right joystick left button and to open the head and drop the tree I use the right stick uh, right button but I'm going to show you how it works in real life so you know uh, these are the main grabs in this case uh, this is the second grab as you can see it has this uh, mechanism see here so you can open it when you have a tree in the head and you can stack the wood here uh, so the main grab is usually in the right hand and a left button close and a right button opens and then the second grab is on the left hand and 
the right uh, button closes and the left button opens so the buttons that are closer to you close and the buttons that are away from you open and then also you have the control uh, of the blade Now let's talk about uh, rotation. In this head, in feral branches, the standard controls is with the triggers. So right joystick trigger rotates in this, in this direction, left joystick trigger rotates in this direction. In some harvesters, in some machines, uh, you have also the option to rotate to this direction with a button in the left joystick and to this direction in a button uh, in the right joystick but uh, doing it with the trigger is a lot better because you can use one finger to open and close the, the grab and then at the same time you can use the trigger to rotate the head so it's very useful Talking about the operation, it's pretty simple. Uh, basically, all you need to do is to place it in the right place, uh, press close button, in this case it grabs automatically, and then you rotate to one side, for example, and you dump the wood. Pretty, pretty simple. Uh, but Obviously, it needs some practice and some coordination. Uh, some things to, to note. Uh, if you take a look at the stick, you cannot be really close, like here, because you will hit the stick, and it will be really, really hard to grab like this. So, you need to find the right spot so the stick is more or less like this this is the perfect uh, position and then you can rotate it and drop the good like that so in this case I'm cutting this little plantation I made here and I'm cutting these two rows and because they are closer and then I go a little bit forward and I can take this one and then this one so when you have the tree in the head you need to maintain the head level and if you can take it like this more or less so not really close and not really far away because you can tip the machine and you need to maintain the head level because if you do it like this obviously the machine will start uh, being more unstable and obviously you will hit other trees so you can do a complete mess you try to put it level and when you are here in the place you want and try to do this movement uh, fast so like this and dump it. because obviously in real life if you have the tree grabbed in this direction probably uh, tip the machine to that and also force the grab so that's all I wanted to show you uh, I'm going to continue cutting this and make a time lapse so you can enjoy it a little bit of cutting and uh, let me know if you like this kind of videos because I can make for example uh, other videos to set up the basic controls that are different uh, to these ones or the forwarders for example and 
give some tips and tricks uh, when you are forwarding especially for those that are not uh, real life operators and don't know how those machines work in real life and obviously when I get the wood harvester consoles mod ready I will make a deep uh, guide how to set up all the different options and how to work with the different brands and what are the options you need to set up so I will continue cutting and I'll see you in the next video I'm <laughs> sorry.